Hi and welcome to the Thrunai channel. So in today's video we're taking a look at a new Thrunai product. This is their TG21. It's a, a keychain knife. So essentially what we have is a titanium pocket clip with an integrated blade. Alright, so we have a tiny little Tanto style blade. This is a slip joint in that there's no locking mechanism. That makes this legal a lot more countries all around the world. All right, and this comes with a little stainless steel tie. All right, so you can remove that if you want. You just unscrew it, and it slips right out. All right, there are two versions of this, the solid titanium one, and the other one is also titanium, but it has an anodized finish on the outside, so it's multicolor. All right, so we have that rainbow effect. This is the package it comes in. All right, so you get a little spec sheet. And you can pause the screen right there if you want to see the specs. And then they slip right back into this little storage case. Very nice, in case you want to give it as a gift. So in this video, I want to compare this to some other knives that I carried on my keys before, as well as different methods of me clipping knives to my uh, either pants pocket or to my belt loop or my belt itself. So what's really nice is that this has an integrated clip. So this whole entire loop is a titanium pocket clip. So you can slip this, again, in the waistband of your pants, all around your waist, anywhere you wanted to. You can slip it uh, into your belt. You can put this, you know, into a pocket. You can slip this through, you know, a molly strap on a bag, anything like that. And you have a small little blade, right, which is very handy. So I'll go through and show you these other knives and talk about what they are, but let's talk about price first. So the TG21 from Thrunite, again, this is solid titanium. These are currently selling for $29.99 on their website, although it may be cheaper on Amazon. Uh, next, I have the Gerber GDC. All right, these sold for $14.99 back when I got it, and I think they're about the same price now, today. Then I have a very uh, classic knife. This is quite literally called the Classic SD. This is from Victorinox. Those currently sell for $19.99. There's a ton of different colors and variations on how they look. Then next to that, we have the SOG Micron. These currently sell for $15. Then next to that, we have the Spyderco Bug. This sells for $19.50. Then to the right of that, I have a larger Spyderco. This is the Ladybug with a Hawkbill fully serrated blade. That sells for about $50 or so, a little bit harder to find these days. And on the end here, we have a Boker Plus CLB Keycom. All right, now it's important to note that on the Bug and the Keycom here, you see I have clips attached. These did not come with these knives. These are completely different tools, and we'll talk about that later in the video. So we're going to take a look at each one of these tools individually. So we're going to start with the Thrunite. Again, this is solid titanium. All right, we have basically a clip, and this clip can go anywhere. You could put this in your pants pocket if you wanted to, you know, either exposed on the outside or inside the pocket. Um, you can clip this to your belt, to your waistband. You can clip it to a belt loop. You can clip it to a backpack strap, I mean a molly strap, anywhere. It's very, very versatile. And the main purpose is to have a small little blade, right, whenever you need it. Now this is nice, it's a little tanto, all right? It's a, a thicker blade, so it's nice and sturdy. It's not gonna break easily, but it does come to a very fine point, almost like a little kiridashi. All right, it can be super, super handy, very useful. I mean, knives are one of man's oldest tools. There's a, a million different ways you can use them. But it's just nice to have a small, very, very sharp knife. And I would probably use this as a backup knife. Maybe you carry a folding knife every day or a fixed blade. But if your knife ever goes dull or if you need a little more precision with a very, very fine point, this is a great thing to have clipped somewhere on your body or your gear. So next up is that Gerber GDC. All right, so this used to have actually like a fabric strap that would have a, a big um, split ring on it. I took all that off so I can just use a split ring to make it a little smaller. And this is again, just a very small little blade. This happens to be a liner lock, so this does in fact lock. And so going back to the, um, the through night model, that does not lock, all right? And I know in America, it's not a big deal to have locking knives, but in other countries around the world, you know, having a locking knife may be the difference between making it legal or illegal. So, you know, non-locking knives are obviously more versatile worldwide. But again, the whole purpose is just to have a very small little blade in the case of an emergency. All right, and this one folds up as well. So next up is the classic Swiss Army knife. Now, I originally mentioned this was a Victorinox. It is in fact a Wegner, or Wegner, depending on how you're pronouncing it. It is a very similar design. In fact, right now Victorinox owns this company. 
but I did grab a regular Victorinox to show you this. This is the Victorinox Classic SD. All right, very, very common little pocket knife. And as you can see here, it is literally identical to the Wagner. It's just the model names are different. But I did want to kind of show both of these just because I already broke this one out. All right, this one has an advertisement for some company. But these have a main blade. They have a um, nail file. All right, and they have a scissor. Now, the tip of the nail file on the Wagner is pointed, whereas on the um, Swiss Army knife from Victorinox, it is a little flathead screwdriver as well. And on both of these, we also have the addition of a toothpick that pulls out, as well as a little pair of tweezers. All right. So yes, these Swiss Army knives, both are made in Switzerland, um, are super classic. They've been around for decades. Very, very popular, you know, little keychain knife or a little pocket knife. So next up is the SOG Micron, okay, S-O-G Micron. This is actually the smaller version. There's two different sizes. There's one that's slightly larger than this, but this is essentially just a very small, again, non-locking knife. This has a Tanto blade, okay, similar to the through knife. And it's just very, very thin, very simple metal construction. Has a lanyard hole on here, which normally I would have a split ring. And I carry this on the keys for, you know, quite some time. Just a nice little backup knife. That's it, very simple, no lock, but in a pinch, you have a little blade. So next up is the Spyderco Bug. All right, this is one of Spyderco's smallest models. All right, and uh, again, this is just a small little non-locking knife. There's no lock on here. Those are called slip joints. And in this particular case, I have this attached to a split ring and then one of these clips. Now, I don't remember what company actually makes this. There's just an X on the back. But this is essentially just a pocket clip with a little hole in the bottom. So I've used this on various knives. In fact, I've also used this clip on that Gerber as well. And the whole point is to allow me to take a small little knife like this and literally have a pocket clip on it so I can clip it to anything I want to. Um, historically, I've used this to uh, clip it to the belt loop on my pants. I've also clipped this to molly straps on uh, different types of bags and stuff. So this little pocket clip has nothing to do with this Spyderco. They're completely separate products, but I put them together so the knife can be more versatile and I can carry it a lot of different ways. So next up is the Spyderco Ladybug. Again, this is the Hawkbill version that has a fully serrated blade. All right, very, very cool knife. Uh, a little bit more capable being, you know, bigger, more of an edge here. Uh, but obviously as you climb in size with folding knives, then, you know, they're not as versatile as far as carrying it on your keys. This is about as big as I would go, you know, for something that would be attached to my keys. And this just has a little ball and chain on here. And that's exactly how I carry this, attached to my keys before. But with the ball and chain, you can also clip this around, again, molly straps if you needed to. Or you can clip it around your, your belt loop on your pants. It's just not as convenient because you have to, you know, undo the chain. Very tiny little ball ends in this connection piece. So it's uh, very difficult to get this on and off quickly compared to, you know, just a regular pocket clip. And last up here is the Boker Plus CLB Keycom. This, again, is just a small folding knife. This happens to lock. This is called a frame lock, all right? But I have attached to it a, a different pocket clip, okay? Again, no company name on here at all. Much larger pocket clip. And these are interchangeable. I just have a, a split ring through the um, lanyard hole on the knife, and then there's just generic pocket clip. And I've used this pocket clip on all kinds of stuff including my keys themselves. So I can, you know, clip my keys right to uh, my belt loop on my pants or somewhere, you know, on a bag. Just really convenient. Again, this one here, as well as this, these serve the same exact function as the through knife keychain knife, okay? The only difference is that the actual keychain itself has the knife built in, as compared to, in this case, where I attach a knife to it. So again, I can clip this anywhere I can clip these, but the knife is already inside the clip. It's one piece. That's what I like about this so much. All right, plus the fact this titanium is extra cool, nothing here on the table happens to have any titanium in it. These both are stainless steel clips and all these knives have stainless steel handles. So there you go, a little comparison for these knives. What I really wanted to point out is how versatile having a pocket clip can be on these small little keychain style knives. Now having it on your keys, totally fine. Um, if you have a split ring, that's directly attached to your keys, then 
Obviously, it's very difficult to remove the knife from the keys. More times than not, you're going to use the knife while it's still attached to the keys. That could be a little bit uncomfortable in certain situations. Um, having it, uh, the capability of removing it easily is a huge bonus, and that's why I like these pocket clips. The pocket clips also allow you to attach things you know, to, again, molly straps or other places where normally it'd be hard to constantly you know, take it on and off. But with a clip, it just slips on and off very easily. And again, the through knives having the capability of having the knife blade within the clip, that's what makes it kind of special. So for testing, I've been carrying the regular titanium one, but I do want to start carrying this multicolor one. Just think it's really cool having that anodized kind of rainbow pattern on there. All right, and you can see the little through night logo right there on the side. All right, that's lasered in. And plus, even if you don't want to use the cable tie with this, this itself makes a fantastic keychain. All right, so you can put all your keys on there. It's very, very sturdy. Does not want to break easily. These are literally um, stainless steel cable that's twisted together. All right, so this can be a completely separate tool as well. So that's it for this one, guys. If you are new to the Through Night channel, they do giveaways for their products all the time. If you're interested in participating, it is completely free. All you have to do is comment on these videos and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.